Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Kirsten and this time we're doing five book series that I want to start in 2021. Now these are just five book series I happen to own, I actually own a lot more series that I want to start and there are more series that I want to get my hands on. But these are five that I definitely am saying I'm going to start these in 2021, so fingers crossed I like them because I already own them. So to begin with we have Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Now Robin Hobb is a major author in the fantasy world. She has done this amazing series where they're all trilogies but they all interconnect. It's all done in the same world and I think it sounds amazing. In this first one which is where people recommend starting off with her books even though you can start with different trilogies, it's easier to start off with the very first one. In this, we are following Fitz, who is a bastard son of the Crown Prince, and when he is dropped off at the kingdom's doors, he is not wanted at all. So instead, they use his unique position to train him to be an assassin, which sounds pretty interesting. I mean, it sounds horrible to be Fitz, like not wanted at all, but it sounds like an interesting story. So we're watching him grow up across the course of three books and seeing him become the assassin. Now that may seem a little bit boring to some people, but I actually love stories where you're following our main character grow up. There is something that I just love so much about it because you can really get connected to them as a character, see their highs and their lows. And I just, I love that. That's my favourite thing in adult fantasy is being able to do that because you don't get that so much in young adult. I'm excited to give this one a try. This is actually the shortest book. I know for a fact that all the other books are massively chunky in this series, so this is a good one to see if I like her writing and to go from there. I really hope I do because, she, again, she is an amazing author and she is very well revered in the fantasy world, at least from what I've been seeing, and I would just love to be able to read some of these staples and plus all these covers are so beautiful, I'm just in love with them. So fingers crossed, I enjoy this. All of these books you'll notice I don't know too much about so I apologise it's going to be a bit vague but from what I know this sounds exactly like something I'm going to enjoy. Name of the Wind is one of my favourite fantasy series and Malice is also one that I've really enjoyed and all of those are books where we're following our main character and seeing them grow up in a different world and I love that. The next book is one that I picked up because of some booktubers and that would be Bobby from Bobby's Dusty Pages and Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte. I'll have both of them linked below. They're two booktubers I love to watch their videos. I think they're really great and both of them love The Diviners by Liv Ray. This is not a book I would have picked up actually and I struggled to find a cover that I really liked. I would have loved the Australian editions that Bobby has because they are beautiful but in the end I had to settle for the American covers because the English ones just nah. We don't like those. But this is still beautiful, I think it's a gorgeous cover and yes I know covers shouldn't matter but they do to me. And in this book we are set in the 1920s which that sounds like an amazing era, I love that so much, I'm so excited to read a book set in that and this is basically a paranormal historical fantasy book which just sounds perfect. I really don't know too much about it apart from the fact that our main character has been sent away because of her behaviour not quite meeting the expectations of how a young lady should be acting and so she's been sent away to her somewhat eccentric uncle which probably wasn't the best idea and things start going from there. I'm not sure if there's a murder mystery in here, I could be getting that completely wrong, but something happens and it's all paranormal based, which just sounds absolutely brilliant. So I'm really excited to read this. I really loved The Beautiful, which is set way earlier than this, but that also has paranormal elements to it. The writing is absolutely beautiful. So I'm hoping for something similar-ish to that, but in the 1920s. That just sounds even more amazing because I love all the flappers and everything. I think that's going to be a great, great setting to be in. And as I've said previously, I love historical fantasy settings and I also love paranormal. Paranormal is something I used to read a lot of when I was younger but don't read as much now. But I definitely want to get back into it because I still love it. I still think it's absolutely amazing. And yeah, I have high hopes for this one. Also, sorry if the lighting is going in and out. I use natural light and it's a very cloudy day yet again because we are in winter so 
I apologize if the lighting is going in now, which I really think it is because that is getting bright. Can you not? Anyway, another book series I want to start in 2021 is The Last Namaseria by Kristen Kick. Kikarelli? Cicerelli? I apologise. I do butcher names. I, I apologise. And this is an interesting YA trilogy. It's something that I picked up after reading Ash Princess because I really enjoyed that trilogy. It's a trope-filled trilogy to be sure and it's hella predictable but I like those sort of reads. There's just something comforting about having that in a book. And I believe this is gonna be a very similar series, but this time we have dragons in, which sounds amazing. I believe we're following our main character, who is a princess, who is being told that she has to marry someone that she really does not want to marry unless she can kill a dragon. Now that just sounds like something utterly ridiculous but amazing, and it feels like it's gonna be a really fun trope-filled read again. So these are my guilty pleasures. I love an angsty YA trope filled read, especially when I'm feeling down or if I don't know what I want to read or if I've read some really heavy adult fantasy and need a change of pace. These are perfect for it. So I'm hoping that that fulfills my thirst for YA tropiness and I don't actually read books with dragons in very often so I'll be excited to see how this goes because yeah, honestly it's got dragons in. Why wouldn't I like it? I think. I don't know. I haven't really read a book with them in. But another thing, look at how gorgeous this cover is. All of them have this black and gold and grey aesthetic, which I think is really awesome. But I am hoping it's going to be angsty, tropey filled. Which, if you've read this and if you know that that's what it is, do let me know because I'll be even more excited to pick it up. Either way, I'm still going to start it this year and hopefully I enjoy it. And the next series I want to start is by an author I actually love, but I only love certain books of his, and that's actually Brandon Sanderson, and this is Skyward. Now, Brandon Sanderson is an author who I have absolutely loved all of his Cosmic works. I think they're amazing, but I do not like his other works. And I couldn't tell you why that is, there's just something about the writing style that I just don't connect with. And this is his, I want to say middle grade book, but I know someone's corrected me on here and said it's actually young adult. But to me it seems very young end of young adult, so I don't know. I'm kind of in between the two. Until I read it, I'm not really gonna know. But we're following our main character who wants nothing more than to be a pilot, but I believe her dad did something that made him... He either betrayed someone or something's happened basically and now she's kind of been shunned because of what her father did. But she doesn't want to let that stop her, she wants nothing more than to be a pilot in this world. I really don't know anything else more than that. I know some people have said that I should definitely give this a try, that if I like Brandon Sanderson and other works I'm going to enjoy this and I'm trusting them. Because as I've said, I do not like his other books outside the Cosmere. So I'm really really hoping that this is going to be an exception to that rule and that I'm going to like it, so fingers crossed. And the final series that I want to start in 2021 is another series that my sister loves and based on how much I love Malice, which is a series that she recommended for me, I am trusting her judgement once again. Now this is a book I picked up in the charity shop for a pound, and that's The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, and it's the hardback version. I was so shocked that this was a pound, that when I saw it I just had to have it, plus look at how gorgeous that is under the dust jacket. That's amazing. But honestly when I picked this up I didn't really think I was ever gonna read it. I saw it for a pound and I thought oh that looks stunning and that's literally the only reason why I picked it up. But my sister has yet again said that this is an amazing... can, can we not? That this is an amazing series and it's one that she really loves and do I know what it's about? No. Not at all. I know that some people have, I believe, powers, but they're hunted for it, and our main character might be one of these people. I really do not know, and yes, all right, let me just read the synopsis, because I don't know what this is about. The year is 2059. 19-year-old Paige Mahoney is working in the criminal underworld of Sion, London based at Seven Dials, employed by a man named Jackson Hall, her job to scout for information by breaking into people's minds. For Paige is a dreamwalker, a clairvoyant, and in her world, she commits treason simply by breathing. Alright, that sounds pretty good. So it's definitely more futuristic again, so that's kind of outside my comfort zone yet again. 
but it does sound pretty good that she can break into people's minds. That sounds very interesting, and I've actually seen other people that really love this series as well, so I'm gonna trust my sister, and I'm gonna give this one a try. So there we have it, that's five book series I want to start in 2021, and honestly, some of these are older series that I've just never picked up, to be quite honest. I hope that I like them all. I have high hopes for The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, for sure, and I also have high hopes for The Diviners and The Assassin's Apprentice, so I'm hoping that this is going to be a good five series that I can get my teeth into in 2021. What are some book series that you want to start next year or this year, depending on when this video comes out? Do let me know because I'll be interested in giving those a try as well, although I should stop saying that considering how many books I actually have to get through at the moment, but still, put those recommendations in the comments below, I would love to check them out. And as always, if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All my social media links to my Instagram, Goodreads and Twitter will be linked below, and I will catch you in the next one.